At this time, I'd like to call up Miss Jackie Good. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and please remain standing for the playing of the national anthem. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Welcome friends, family, staff, faculty, and classmates, the qu class of 2022. Tonight we share another moment together, accumulating our time as high school students and ready to take on the responsibility of graduates. Fellow graduates, please take a moment to acknowledge and reflect on those who helped you reach this point as high school graduates. To the staff of the Keensburg High School, thank you for all your tireless efforts and actions that helped each of us. Thank you for all being here and celebrating with us, the class of 2022. At this time, I would like to welcome up the class of 2022 salutatorian, Ms. Alexis Crespo. to welcome the Board of Education, Superintendent O'Hare, administration, faculty, staff, families, and friends. I thank you all for being here and allowing me to stand before you today. Most importantly, I would like to thank the class of 2022. We finally did it. We've been waiting for, we've been waiting for this moment since we first sat down in our preschool chairs. And now that we're here, it all feels so surreal. Sorry. <laughs> it is time for us to close this crazy chapter of our lives and grow into the amazing people we are all meant to be. These past four years have been a wild ride. There have been many laughs, smiles, fights, tears. Of all the great and horrible things we have been through, we finally made it to the finish line. I've learned so much in my time here at Keensburg High School, not only education-wise, but also about life and its obstacles. Although I may not have seemed like it at times, I am grateful for every second I've spent in this school because I will never take for granted the people I've met and the lessons I have learned. I will take these lessons with me everywhere that I go and will never forget where I learned them. One part of high school that I would like to take the time to highlight is softball especially this season. 
Both the sport itself and the amazing coaches I've had over the past four years have influenced my personality and character. Coach Hoff has taught me how to let loose and live like every day is my last, that hard work and dedication is more important than winning sometimes, and the true meaning of the F word, being fundamentals and fun, and how they should be used in life. I can't forget to give a shout out to the security squad that waits for Jackie Good and I to enter the building every morning as well. Thank you, James and Billy, for inviting us in as your interns this year. Thank you, Dr. Harris, for allowing us to call you MJ every now and then. And lastly, thank you to my mom, Mama Sal, for pushing me to my limit every day and making sure I am as close to success as I can possibly be. I'm ready to move on to bigger and better things at the University of Delaware and bring a huge chunk of Keensburg there with me. One piece of advice I can give to all of you is to continue to work your hardest and never ever forget where you came from. The world is ours and we can all accomplish amazing things. Congratulations, class of 2022. Crespo signing off.
Before we move on, I would be remiss if I didn't take a moment to ask any of our veterans or active military members who are in our audience tonight to please stand up. I would like to thank you all for your service and your dedication to our country, our freedoms, and our way of life. Thank you very much. Also, to any of our first responders, firefighters, police officers, past or present, joining us, could you also please stand to be recognized? It is your dedication to our country, community, and school that keeps us safe, protected, and able to be here today. Thank you all. Now I'd like to invite up the class of 22 valedictorian, Ms. Isha Majid. Hey, Bria. Hi, everyone. Thank you all for coming this evening. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Isha Majid, and it is an honor to be named this year's valedictorian. I want to start off this speech by thanking the Board of Education, teachers, administration, and the guidance department, who have been there for us throughout high school. Now, if you know me at all, you know that I'm a big proponent of doing whatever you want to do whether that be as big as getting into a top school or as small as deciding what you want to eat once I stop rambling up here. I fully believe that you should do whatever that feels right to you. The expectations that society places upon us are, for lack of a better word, completely irrelevant. And oftentimes, we please them upon ourselves without even realizing it. We constantly have the idea imposed upon us that we should be more realistic, implying that our goals are unattainable. I believe that having the mindset that something is impossible or that the odds are too slim inhibits us more than failure ever could. As you start the next chapter, take in the world around you. I encourage you to immerse yourself in all the activities that you care about. Do that thing that you've been holding back on because you never know when it will all change. We have not lived a normal life in the past few years, so why confine ourselves to the normal boxes of society? Be the color in the world of black and white. Be the handwritten note in the world of Snapchat. Take on the rest of your lives one year at a time, one month at a time, one moment at a time. I'd like to leave you with one final piece of advice. Never miss out on an experience for the sake of a number in a grade book. I can recall numerous times that I have turned down a fun or social opportunity for the sake of working and it is one of my regrets. Try to find a balance between work and pleasure. This is probably the greatest piece of advice that I can give, not only because time really will pass you by, but also because you'll find yourself being more productive, happier, and less stressed. In closing, I would just like to remind you that high school has taught us some important lessons. These lessons are the ones that will carry with us into the future and may help us in unexpected expected ways. We are in a world fueled by nonstop information and ideas which are dissolving the traditional borders and boundaries that have defined the past. Once again, thank you all for coming and supporting us through this journey, and I want to give a huge congratulations to the class of 2022. Good evening, and thank you again for being here and celebrating and sharing in this wonderful time for our students. Members of the Board of Education, thank you, Central Office Administration, Mr. Kamak, Mr. Bird, Mr. Stark, and our high school's dedicated and always willing staff, thank you and welcome. Before we move on, I would like to also invite 
or extend a special invitation and welcome to Sergeant Murphy of the United States Marine Corps. At this time, I would also ask Andrew Danville to please stand up. And I would like to wish Andrew the best of, the best of luck as he continues his future in the United States Marine Corps as well. Best of luck to you, Andrew. I cannot be any more delighted this evening celebrating with you all, our seniors and our class of 2022. You are all part of a celebration tonight and an event that marks a significant completion in your young lives, your high school graduation. This moment in your life is to be remembered forever and shared with your family and friends. As you sit here, you are part of something that you're responsible for and you play a major part in. That responsibility, now in this moment, you have fulfilled and completed. But it's with this accomplishment that you have been awarded another opportunity to take a complete advantage of, whether it's furthering your education, entering the workforce, or simply determining the next best step of your life. The responsibility is now in your hands for you to drive and navigate through. Tonight's ceremony of commencement by its own definition means just that, a new start, a beginning. It doesn't mean an end or a closing that might be littered with goodbyes or farewells. It is a beginning that holds boundless possibilities and opportunities that I hope in all its meaning and implication deliver you an outcome more favorable each time. This newly inherited responsibility can only be capitalized by yourselves. Capitalized in ways because of what you have done to do the work, what you have done to take credit for, and what you have done to make that routine and help you shape your future. A Titan is one that stands out for greatness of achievement. Your time here at Kingsburg High School has strengthened your abilities to succeed, to preserve through circumstances beyond your control, finish the job that you set out to accomplish, and achieve one of many great things you will undoubtedly encounter. You have all been Titans, and you will always remain a Titan. Congratulations. At this time, I certify to the superintendent of schools that the members of the class of 2022 have met all the requirements for graduation set forth by the state of New Jersey and the Kingsburg Board of Education. As superintendent of schools, I certified to the Board of Education that the members of the class of 2022 have met all the requirements for graduation set forth by the state of New Jersey and the Keensburg Board of Education. At this time, I'd like to invite up Mr. Michael Mankowski, president of the Keensburg Board of Education, to present our students their diplomas. Mr. Kamak, if you can come up and read the names. And now for the presentation of the diplomas. Yosef Abdu. Yeah. Namir Bass. Jonathan Beatty. Anthony Bello. Raymond Birch. Bria Bradforth. Macau Braithwaite. Claire Brogan. Presenting the diploma to Billy Brown is Board of Education member Brooke Clayton. Buchanan, Victor Concepcion, 
Shannon Conway. Keyshawn Coppinger Ward. Nevea Cordero. Alexis Crespo. Ralph Derrico. Hannah Dossi. Andrew Danville. Trevor Dernan. Karen Egan. Nicholas Freeze. Patrick Germain. Kevin Gonzalez. Presenting the diploma to Jacqueline Good is Council Member Michael Donaldson. <laughs> For Dallas Brulon. Amber Holmes. Matthew Keelan. Rowan Kelly. Arthur LaFoe. Raymond Lawson. Nathaniel Levisor. Justin Lopez. Isha Majid. Juan Mendoza. Michael Morrow. Jade O'Keefe. Joel Oliveira. Quentin Owens. Gisela Pelez Bentoncourt. Tiago Pereira. Kamari Perry. Brian Pizzuti. Benjamin Quintero Rojas. Naomi Ramos. Abel Rivera. Adam Rivera. Kevin Rivera. Nicholas Rivers. Nishan Robinson. Miguel Rodriguez. Daisy Rojas. Shamir Scott. Amanda Sindoni. Charles Slover. Abigail Soto. Jeremy Stanton. Christian Stone. 
Rosemary Zealous. Gino Terciano. Ashlyn Torres Ramirez. Andrew Valley. Donovan Vasquez. Edward Wilson. Casey Wright. Congratulations, class 2022.